Welcome to The Lift with Sheila Robinson Kiss. Come on in. There's always a special place set aside for you here where you can relax, kick up your heels, pour yourself a nice refreshing drink, and prepare to be lifted and soar. Thanks so much, everyone, and welcome back. How to hold, how to hold and sustain motivation. You know, life is a funny thing, and motivation is also a funny thing. And I want to share with you today in this video what I've learned about motivation, about holding motivation in over four decades on the planet. You know, it's one thing. It's one thing to get charged up, to get motivated. I read a good book, or I saw this movie, or my friend gave me a pep talk. It's one thing to have that initial charge, but it's another thing to sustain it. And that's what most people run into when we're talking about holding motivation. It's actually the art of that consistency. And really, over time, getting enough equilibrium, getting your footing to really see results in a way that that motivation stays with you and cuts through your soul. So I'm going to share with you three things to keep in mind. And I will promise you that if you just sit with the video, you may have to watch it a couple times, but just sit with it. This is a framework video to reframe how you even think about what it means to be motivated. So here we go. Number one, number one, this is critical. You will find, you will find motivation and inspiration in the doing. You will find motivation and inspiration in the doing, not in the observing, not in the planning, not in the laying things out, but in the doing. You know, if you want to fly, if you want to fly, it's one thing to fantasize about it. It's another thing to spread your wings, to spread your wings and go. And when you see yourself doing, that is the inspiration because it feeds the soul. Look at that. Would you look at that? Look what I did. It's proof and validation on a soul level, a spiritual level, the level of reality. And a lot of folks get, you know, I'm, Sheila, it sounds good. I'm scared. I just don't want to mess this up. I just don't want to fail. And you're in your head. Let me tell you something about failure. You've got to change how you feel about that. Because any time, I've said this many times, when you're playing a bigger game, a bigger game in life, you want more. You want to express more. You want to do more, experience more, give more. There will be a level of failure and rejection, however you define it. Doors closing on you, people walking away from you. Build that into the equation so it doesn't hit you as hard. And look at it like this. The quicker you get the failing over, get that over with. It's, it's a gift because failure helps you to really determine clearly, okay, this isn't going to work. This is where I need to make an adjustment. You don't need to personalize it. You don't need to meditate on it. You don't need to ruminate about it. You need to challenge yourself. Okay, how quickly can I get back on track? It's just that simple. Many people, brilliant, smart, amazing. You're getting stuck in the rumination of fear, fear of failure. So understand that you will find your inspiration in doing, doing it, do it. You're going to have magnificent moments. You're going to have things that don't work out, but it's a cumulative effect. It's the effect all taken together creates a wonderful swirl of momentum. Number two, make it bigger than yourself. Make it bigger than yourself. I love the quote by Aristotle, society, society precedes the individual. Once again, by Aristotle, society precedes the individual. There is a collective force. There is a collective force at play in all of our lives. That is, it's great. It's greater than any individual. This is the reason why self-centered people are not happy people. Narcissists are not happy people because they live in an orbit and all roads lead back to them. When in reality, 
In reality, it looks like it's about you. It feels like it's about you. But we are all here as a collective. Everything that I do, everything that I do has an impact on someone else. Everything that you say can have a positive or negative impact. It is a collective ripple effect we're living inside. And when you unite with that force that's greater than the collective, you can sustain you can sustain momentum by making it bigger than yourself. Uh, one of my clients is a professional athlete, lovely person. And he recently kind of shared a, a story about just, you know, how, how he continues to strive, go forward, even if he doesn't want to. He can win a race, what have you. And he said, you know, there's only so far you can sprint physically. And motivation is the same. There's only so much momentum you can sustain. And when I get tired, he said, when I get tired, I can just quickly realize this is bigger than you. This is bigger than you. There are, there are people watching. There are people getting motivated through you. There's a higher purpose. So that realization that it's bigger than you will come back to beautifully, beautifully and naturally refresh your soul. Get in touch. Get in touch with the reason. Get in touch with the reason you're doing what you're doing. I can I can tell you my reason. If you watch the videos, you know it's for the full edification and glory of God. And if I was doing it for any reason other than that, I would have stopped a long time ago. I've run into some really amazing people, some nasty people. Doors open, doors shut. You have no idea just what it takes to sustain the momentum to get the message out. So you have to have something that's bigger than you, bigger than you, that's driving you and pushing you and will come back naturally as a beautiful supportive factor for you. And number three, number three, I'm stepping out a little bit on the limb. I don't want you to get carried away with this, but here's my recommendation. Once or twice a month, you can go online or get your local newspaper and read the obituary read the obituaries. You don't have to do it for two or three hours. Five or ten minutes will do it. Read about these magnificent souls, these amazing souls. They are no longer here. They have passed on. And my spiritual beliefs, I firmly believe that we do go on. We do go on into eternity. But look around. You're never going to get this, let's, I'm not going to say this is a once in a lifetime, once in a lifetime opportunity, but it's a once in an eternity opportunity. Look outside, look at your office, wherever you're watching this video from. You live in this exquisite environment. It's the land of forms. Every single thing imaginable is here. The extremes, the beauty, the, the degradation, the good, the evil, the, 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 the large, amazing animals, the small, little, tiny ones. It's a world of contradictions that you're in. You're not coming through. <laughs> you're not coming through, not the way you are, not as it is again. So wake up, wake up and smell the universal coffee. This is time limited. It's called a lifetime for a reason. It's a time limited. There is an expiration date on this leg of the journey. And your life, your life and how you live it in the momentum that you hold and the impact that you make, it means something. Regardless of what you're going through, realize it means something. Everything you do has an effect on someone else. Your depression, get out of that depression because it's affecting your family. It's affecting your children. It's all a ripple effect. It's bigger. It's bigger than you. It's ruminating on other people. My heart is breaking. You're losing time on people who don't even deserve one ounce of your worry and concern. Snap out of it. Snap out of it. Is this how you want to use your time? Is this how you want to use up your lifetime? Come into the reality. Come into the reality. You have a certain amount of time to do what you want to do, what you need to do. Get centered. Get on purpose. Plug in. Make it bigger than yourself. And every single day, every single day, stop for a moment. Just stop for a moment and ask yourself, what is this? 
what is this about for me? Plug in these three points that I shared with you, and I guarantee you, you're going to get lift and lift and lift and lift. And that's what I'm here to do. Thank you so much. I got a little excited in this one, but that's okay. I'll see you next time.